Hello everyone, welcome back again to German Pro Happy Learning at Home. Hope you all are doing good. In this video, we will be covering chapter 11, which is Kleidung und Wetter, clothing and the weather, mode of buying Kleiderkauf, and when buying the clothes. Wetter is weather. Text are Wetter Bericht. Bericht is a report. Wetter is weather. So it's weather report. Lead is song. Vote failure. Kleidung. Farben. Wetter. The words you will learn here about clothing, colors, and weathers. You will Kleidung expression. Speak about the clothes. Kleidung kaufen. Buying clothes. Farben und Gryosen angeben. Colors and specify sizes. So you will learn about weather expression. To understand the weather information and to speak about it. Chapter 11. Kleidung und Wetter. Clothing and the weather. Aus der Mode Zeitung. Means from the fashion newspaper. Mode of you Männer und Frauen. Fashion of for, for men and women. A part is Lesen Sie, welche Wörter zum Thema Kleidung kennen Sie schon. Read it and which words you relate to the clothing do you already know. Now we will be reading this text and understanding which all things we already know about the clothing. Du siehst gut aus. Das steht dir prima. Wer freut sich nicht nur so ein Kompliment? Frauen und auch Männer ziehen sich gern modisch an. Die Kleidung muss modern, gut, kombinierbar und preiswert sein. Bliebt sind Hose, besonders Jeans. Alexander trägt dazu einen blauen Rollkragenpullover und eine braune Jacke. Jeder hat ein weißes T-Shirt an. Im Sommer tragen Frauen gern einen leichten Rock, ein T-Shirt oder ein Top, so wie Jana. Der Mann von Jana, Rolf, trägt eine helle Sommerhose und ein rotes T-Shirt. Die ideale Urlaubskleidung. Claudia trägt zur Hose braune Stiefel, eine weiße Bluse und eine dunkle Jacke. Joran siegt eleganter Männermode. Er trägt einen schwarzen Anzug, ein weißes Hemd und ein roter Krawatte. Dazu trägt er einen langen Mantel und natürlich schwarze Schuhe. This text says, Du siehst gut aus, means you look great, it looks great on you. Who doesn't love a compliment like that? Women and men alike to dress fashionably. Clothing must be easy to combine and inexpensive. Pants are popular, especially jeans. Alexander wears a blue turtleneck sweater with them and a brown jacket. Yetta wears a white t-shirt in summer. In summer, women like to wear a light skirt, a t-shirt or a top like Yana. Jana's husband Rolf wears light colored summer pants and a red t-shirt, the ideal holiday clothing. Claudia wears trousers with brown boots, a white blouse and a dark jacket. Joran shows elegant men's fashion. He wears a black suit, a white t-shirt and a red tie. He also wears a long one coat and of course with the black shoes. So whatever you have understood according to the text, you just have to write in front of it. Like this, this black one is dust stop. They have given the hint and for brown one, Alexander is mm -hmm. so we just have to write so the thing is there the rock she wore das hemd und der mantel lesen sie noch einmal wer ist jana und rolf sind auf bild a okay jana and rolf is at picture a so you have to tell which person is who according to the picture and the text so we have read the text and understood alexander is at the photo b and yeah there were more person here yeah yoran is also there jeta is also there claudia is also there but picture okay here is the pictures so claudia is on the photo c jeta is auf d yoran is photo a that is e so this is a jeans wise jeans and their anzug, the cravata, the t-shirt and the things that we, they have worn, you have to write it. Schwarz is black. Next, we will be moving forward. Fragen und Antworten sie. Was hat Alexander an? So this is a speaking exercise. You can ask questions to each other and then answer it, what they have worn. Next is Kleidung und Farben. Clothes and the colors. Ein Spiel, Kleidung und Farben im Kurs, a game about clothing and the colors in the course. Nennen sie eine Farbe und ein passendes Kleidungsstücke. You know a color and the suitable clothing piece. The t-shirt von Marina is the rot. The hose von Yannick is schwarz. So this is a playing exercise. Speaking. You go farben expression. Fragen sie im Kurs. You have to speak about the color. So I just tell you it's already there. Rot is red, blau, gel, green, brown, orange, turquoise, violet, grau, rosa, schwarz, weiss, blue, hell green, dunkelblau. 
Okay, moving forward to the next one. Fragon and Antipotency. You have to ask the questions and answer it. The Anjuga, the Pullova. Okay, so this is the speaking exercise you have to do. Please do Zehan Zegi and Hemden and like to see, like to try the hands, the t-shirts. So this is a speaking exercise. Next is Umlaut or Danish. You have to tell the tell that the plural of a noun will take a umlaut or not. So for that you have to learn the plurals of every noun. You have a Kleidung expression. So this is the speaking exercise. You can read it and have a quick speaking revision. You can just read it. We gefällt ihnen. Gefällen is to uh, like. How do you like the t-shirt? So does gefällt me a good? It suits me. It likes me. Like I am liking the t-shirt on me like that. We find in tragen. Tragen is to wear. But sie han sie. What are you uh, trying? Adjective for nomen accusative. Adjectives before the noun. Was tragen sie gern? What do you like to wear? Kombinieren sie. Come make a combination of it. Ich mag weißes Pullover. So why I have said weißes instead of weiß? Because you have to add here the adjective endings. Because they said you have to place the adjective before the noun. So when the adjective comes before the noun, it will take the ending. Adjective ending according to the noun. Next is Weltmeister. Weltmeister. Lesen sie und vergleichen sie. Vergleichen is to compare. Lesen is to read. World champion. Weltmeister is world champion. Das ist Ronaldo. Sein T-shirt ist gelb. Er trägt ein gelbes T-shirt. Sein Hose ist blau. Er trägt eine blaue Hose. Das ist der Trainer. Sein Trainingsanzug ist schwarz. Er trägt einen schwarzen Anzug. So like this you have explained about the person. By adding adjective endings also. So this is how you have to read the next one also. I prefer you to pause the video and read it by your own. Now moving forward to the next one. Adjective im Accusative und Unbestimmter Artikel. Adjective in the case of Accusative and with Unbestimmter Articles now. For this you have to learn the Adjective endings. Er ergänzen Sie die Tabelle mit Beispielen aus dem Text in Aufgabe A.1. So, here is the adjective endings given. For then, it will be einen schwarzen, ein gelbes, eine blaue. For plural, it will be schwarzer. Next is B. Welche Fragen trägt Ihre Lieblingsmannschaft? Er ergänzen Sie. What does your favorite team wear? You have to complete it. Next is ein Spiel im Kurs, a game in a course. Where is das? Who is this? So this is the speaking exercise, you have to do it by your own. Um laut oder nicht, lesen sie laut und achten sie auf. These vowels, I, E, U, U, um laut, A, E, U. So you can just pause the video and read this. Next is Einkaufsbummel. Shopping speed, Einkaufsdialoge, Shopping dialogue. Sehen Sie die Fotos an und hören sie zu. See the photos and listen to the audios. Or see the photos then text so. Arrange the pictures according to the text that are given below. So when you hear the audios, I will just show you this. These are the dialogues that people are saying in the audio only. So you will have the transcriptions in front of you. Now you will listen to the audio and then match the pictures according to that. 4 eins. Eins. Entschuldigung, wo finde ich hier Jacken und Mäntel? In der ersten Etage. Können Sie mir bitte helfen? Ich suche einen Wintermantel. Welche Größe bitte? Oh, ich glaube 40 oder 42. In Größe 40 habe ich diesen hellen. Möchten Sie den mal anprobieren? Nein, die Farbe steht mir nicht. Haben Sie den auch in dunkelrot oder blau? Ja, aber leider nur in Größe 42. Gut, dann probiere ich den dunkelroten an. Zwei. Wo ist hier die Herrenabteilung? Das ist hier, gleich rechts. Ich suche Hemden. Wie gefällt Ihnen dieses Rote? Ja, ganz gut. Kann ich das mal anprobieren? Ja, natürlich. Das steht Ihnen bestimmt sehr gut. Aber die Ärmel sind zu lang. Moment, ich gebe Ihnen eine andere Größe. Drei. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Sie wünschen bitte? Ich suche eine Jeans. Suchen Sie eine bestimmte Marke? Nein, das ist egal. Haben Sie etwas Preiswertes da? Ja. Probieren Sie mal diese dunkelblaue. Die ist reduziert. Eigentlich möchte ich lieber eine schwarze. Dann nehmen Sie diese hier. Aber die ist doch sicher teuer. Nein, die ist auch reduziert. Super. Die passt gut. I hope you have understood and you have the answers now. But still, we will be just reading and understanding the dialogues. So always prefer you to please pause the video and read it by yourself first and then listen to me.
Okay, first is and should go for Finnish here. Yeah, can I tell in the Esda Itaga? Itaga is floor. So it's asking, excuse me, where can I find jackets and coats here? On the first floor, can you give me a bit of help? One, Ishizuka Anjan Winter Mountain. Can you please help me? I'm looking for a winter coat. Well, thank you so much. Which size, please? Oh, I think it's 40 or 42. Oh, I think it's 40 or 42. In Griosa Fiatish, Haber is decent Helen. Me Austin Zidane, Malpro and Probioran. In size 40, I have this bright one. Would you like to try it on? Helen is bright. And Probioran is to try. 9. Is Faber State. 9. The Faber State near Nish. Haber Zidane, Auk in Dunkel Rot. Order Blau. So it's saying, No, the color doesn't suit me. Have you also in dark red or blue? Yeah, I have a lighter Nua in Griosa. So I am Fiatish. Yes, but unfortunately, only in size 42. Good, then Probiara is then Dunkel Roten An. Good, then I'll try the dark red one. Next is, who is here the Heron Abteilung? So where is the men's department here? Heron is men's, Abteilung is department. So where is the men's department here? That is the here, Gleich Rest. This is, this is right here. Is Shizuka Hemden. I'm looking for the shorts. We gefilt in these is rotter. How do you like this red? Yeah, ganz gut. Kann ich das mal anprobieren? Quite good. Can I try this on? Yeah, natürlich. Das steht Ihnen bestimmt sehr gut. Yes, of course, it suits you very well. Aber the ärmel sind zu lang, but the sleeves are too long. Moment, ich gebe Ihnen einen anderen Größe. Wait, I'll give you a different size. Next is this third one. Guten Tag, guten Tag, Sie wünschen bitte. Good afternoon, good day. What would you like? Ich suche eine Jeans. I'm searching for a jeans. Suchen Sie eine bestimmte Marke? Are you looking for a specific brand? Nein, das ist egal. Haben Sie etwas Preiswertes da? No, it doesn't matter. Do you have something inexpensive there? Ja, probieren Sie mal diese dunkelblau. Die ist reduziert. Yes, try this dark blue one. It's reduced. Eigentlich möchte ich lieber eine Schwarze. Actually, I had rather a black one. Dann nehme ich, dann nehmen Sie diese hier. Aber die ist doch sicher teuer. Then take these here. But it's sure it's expensive. Toyer is expensive. Nein, die ist auch reduziert. Super, die passt gut. No, it is also reduced. Great, it fits well. So, okay. We have understood the text. Now we will just see the picture and finding out the which text goes with which picture. So, the first is about the quotes and all the things. So, I guess first picture goes with the C1 because I can see the winter coat in that. And in the first paragraph, they have talked about the winter coats only okay the next one it's a second one it's men's abteilung means men's department so in the both men's are there uh, it's I guess second one is B only yes second one is B and the third one is A because in the third one they have talked about the jeans okay Next one is Oga Yuban. Practice the dialogues. Yuban is practice under a gliding, other dresses, under a farban, other colors, under a grocer, other sizes. So you have to uh, do a, a speaking exercise on this. Likewise, we have done this. You just have to uh, practice how you can buy, how you can ask the shopkeeper about the sizes, colors, and the things that you want at the shop. Okay, next is Einkauf's dialogue. You can take help from these dialogues. Kaufen Sie Gleitung für den Urlaub und fürs Büro. So are you buying the clothes for the vacation or the office so you can use these dialogues here that's for the fair coin for fair coin for in so these dialogues will say shopkeeper that's at the kundin these dialogues for customer so can I help you how can I help you and you can also say we can I help and how can I help you is she look I'm Clyde is she look and a hose is she look at us hemmed likewise you can say these things you can read these dialogues yeah next is demonstrative lays and see and again and see the tabula you have to complete the table here Langer rocker, t-shirts and jeans sind schicker. So here you can just read these dialogues that are written. These are nicht. There is zu lang, den mag ich nicht. These are nicht. Das ist zu bunt, das mag ich nicht. These are nicht. These sind zu alt, die mag ich nicht. Aber ich mag diesen rock und diese t-shirt und diese jeans. So okay, uh, like we have done in the previous chapter about welcher, welchers like uh, you just have to put welcher and ending according to the article. Likewise, it's for these are which means this. We use it for this like this jeans, this top. We use it like that. So according to that, you have to add the ending of it. For example, nominative masculine article is there. So you just have to put these and article of masculine that becomes these are because the article of rock which is this word is their rock so that's why it's these are rock similarly for this t-shirt you will say these us t-shirt these and then es ending these us t-shirt and next for the jeans so that will be these are jeans 
next for accusative accusative masculine changes from nominative to accusative it's there becomes then masculine so then the das the so then rock that becomes the zan rock same it's das t-shirt so that's the sus t-shirt the jeans these are jeans rest of the things remain same in accusative the only change takes place in masculine article that is then instead of there okay next moving forward fragen yuben you have to practice the question we fragen sie the dialogue in fünf punkt eins helfen take help from 4.1 you have to practice these dialogues sie sagen schwarze hemden gefallen mir nicht haben sie die hemden auch in blau likewise you have to make a dialogues of it do you have this in other colors also or maybe in other sizes also okay next is project einkaufen mit dem online katalog project is shopping and with online catalogs Sie haben 100 Euro kaufen Sie mit dem Online Katalog Kleidung für den Sommer oder Winter Urlaub machen Sie eine Liste und berichten Sie so you have to make a list you you have 100 euros and you are buying from online catalog for clothes for summer and winter vacation you have to make a list of the things what all your things you can buy you will be going to buy and the price of it and the color okay next is es gibt kein schlechtes Wetter das Wetter in Deutschland und in anderen Ländern So it's saying there is no such thing as bad weather. The weather in Germany and other countries. Lesen Sie, markieren Sie alle Wörter zum Thema Wetter. Read it and mark all the words related to the weather. So we will going to read this text. I am saying you again pause the video and read it by your own and just mark the weather related things. Like here it is mentioned zonish. Zonish is used for the uh, weather which is sunny. So you have to mark this while you are reading it. Okay, now let's just start reading it. Wie ist das Wetter? Diese Frage hört man in Deutschland sehr oft. Das Wetter ist nicht immer gleich, darum ist es ein beliebtes Gesprächsthema. Viele Freizeitaktivitäten hängen von dem Wetter ab. Hurra, es schneit, der Schnee ist super. Das sagen die Wintersportler. Im Sommer bei einer Grillparty ist immer die Frage, ist es sonnig oder bewölkt? Hoffentlich regnet es nicht. In Deutschland sitzen die Leute gern in der Sonne, in Parks und Straßencafés oder auf dem Balkon. In Südeuropa geht man lieber ins Haus, ins Haus, die Sonne ist dort so heiß. Schönes Wetter heißt in Deutschland Sonne und wenig Regen, aber in Nordafrika ist der Regen sehr wichtig. In Deutschland ist es im Herbst oft kalt und windig. In Norwegen ist der Winter sehr lang und es ist schön am Nachmittag dunkel. Dort feiern die Menschen den Sommer. Und wie ist gutes Wetter in ihrem Land? Okay, they have talked about the weather, but they are saying that what's the weather like? You can hear this question in Germany very much often. The weather is not only the same. That is why it is a popular topic on conversation. Many leisure activities, many uh, like free time activities depend on the weather. Hooray! It's uh, snowing. The sun is great. That's what water. Uh, that's what winter sports enthusiasts say. In summer, at the barbecue party, uh, the question is always: Is it sunny or cloudy? Hope it doesn't rain. In Germany, people like to sit in the sun in parks and street cafes on the balcony. In the southern Europe, people prefer to go to indoors. The sun is too hot there. In Germany, good weather means sun and little rain. But in North Africa, the rain is very important. In Germany, it is often cold and windy in autumn. Windish is windy. Uh, winter in Norway is very long and it is already dark in the afternoon. People celebrate summer there and how is good weather in your country? Like they have talked about Germany, they have talked about Germany. Uh, how's the weather in the Germany most of the times and how people like the weather? Like in Germany, most of the people like a little bit of sun and a little bit of rain. So likewise, they are they were asking the question to you: How's the weather in your country and how do you like or how do prefer like people prefer the weather should be in your country? So you have to talk about it. I prefer you to just write about it. Write a paragraph like this only. Don't just copy it. Make your own words. Like make your own sentences. It's mostly accusative. Go simple. Try to write a paragraph like this only, explaining the weather in your country. Moving forward to the next exercise: Wetter of Wetter means words related to the weather. Ordnen Sie zone, arbeiten Sie mit mini memo. So match and work with a mini memo. So you can when you have to talk about the weather, you can say uh, s. You can use word s. S regen it. If it's raining, you can say s regen it. If it's sunny, uh, if it's uh, snowing, then you can say s schneit. If it's cold, you can say s is cold. If it's windy, you can say um, s is windish. Or you can say it's sunny, it s is zonish. And it's cloudy, then you can say s is bewölkt. If it's hot, you can say s is heiß. So all what you're doing all is using s word. So according to the picture, you just have to mark zona, vulcan, regen, like that. Vulcan is cloudy, regen is rain, kälte is cold, wind is windy, hitze is heat, schnee is snow. 
zona is sun so first zona is matching with the first picture and the second one vulcan matching with the third one and the regan matching with the second one yes kelta matching with the seventh picture hold wind matching with the fourth picture hitza matching with the sixth picture and shni matching with the fifth picture yes next is stete veto a city weather here and zone coincidence an okay here you just have to listen to the audio in which in which city uh, what's the weather like in berlin what is the weather in the audio that people have talked about so you just have to mark you have four options zonish bewoked regen und schnee so these all are the places london you know berlin is you know athens is also a place madrid is also a place moscow rome lisbon so these are the places these are the cities so according to the cities you have to mark the weather okay now listening to the audio 53 und hier das wetter in europa für morgen den 15. dezember in athen ist es bewölkt um die 5 grad berlin heiter 15 grad london heiter bis wolkig und bis zu 17 grad in madrid auch bewölkt und 17 grad in moskau leichte schneefälle bei minus 3 grad dagegen scheint in rom die sonne bei temperaturen bis 16 grad in lissabon ebenfalls 16 grad aber es ist mit regen zu rechnen hope you have understood they have just tell the temperatures and somewhere the word they have used also the word schnee regen bewolkt so if not understood you can listen to it again now i'm just telling the answers for athen the weather is bewolkt for berlin the weather is zonish for london the weather is bewolkt for madrid the weather is bewolkt only moscow it's schnee rome it's zonish lisbon it's regen Okay, moving forward to the next one. It's for Agun and Anto Bhutanji. You have to question it and answer it. So this is uh, basically a speaking exercise. You have to do it by your own. You have just have to ask the question about the weather and answer it. Wie ist das Wetter bei euch in Rom? How's the weather in the Rom? By uns es ist zonisch. By us it's sunny. Uh, Aus ich brauche. So this is just a speaking. You just have to pronounce the words. Es regnet in Berlin und Zürich. Es ist zonisch in Bern und Köln. You can just pause the video and read it. Next is which color has the world here and you listen to it which color the world has you just have to listen to it and read it okay i prefer you to just pause the video and read it now and then you can listen to the audio and then repeat after them graf in deutscher welche farbe hat die welt als ich klein war ging ich zum vater mit dem malbuch in der hand und ich fragte welche farbe hat die welt Yeah. <laughs> 
also okay now next moving forward to the farben und bedeutungen bedeutung is the meaning farben is colors colors and the meaning will she bedeutung haben die farbe in text which color has the meaning which meaning in the text welche association haben sie well which association you have so like red color is the sign of love and the anger also you can write in the net uh, because you have to make a net of it and blue is the color of the himal in the mountains likewise you can write according to the text blue is also the color of blue is thus near blue blue is the color of the sea the ocean thus near okay next moving forward was sie her ish one an ordnung die kleidung sustuka what do i wear when arrange the clothes stuff so for beruf what can wear what one can wear is the jacket for free time what one can wear for the party what can one can wear so we will just see the picture and arrange it according to it so yeah for the profession one can wear the jacket on the hose on the cravat and you can also write their anzug 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 is a suit men's suit and yeah for free time you can wear the t-shirt the yaka the hemd their rock uh, and their pullover auk yes you can wear these things for the party it's das abendkleid and das top their anzug also for the party and yeah their rock yes you can wear these things okay mioja für männer und frauen welcher will pass hören sie und kreuzen sie an fashion for men and women which which of its listen in market so you have to listen to the audio and you have to mark one of them Claudia trägt die aktuelle Sommermode leicht und gut kombinierbar eine helle Sommerhose und eine rote Bluse das steht jeder Frau die ideale Urlaubskleidung Thomas zeigt die Herbstmode für den Mann der elegante Mann trägt einen weißen Anzug und ein blaues Hemd die Krawatte ist grün das sieht gut aus dazu einen braunen Mantel ja das ist der aktuelle Modetrend für den Mann Bianca und André zeigen aktuelle und preiswerte Kleidung für sie und ihn beide tragen Hosen André helle Jeans und Bianca eine modische dunkelgraue Hose Bianca trägt zur Hose weiße Stiefel André trägt ein rotes T-Shirt und eine blaue Jacke. Bianca eine rote Jacke und einen blauen Rollkragenpulli. Die ideale Kleidung für die Freizeit. Kombinierbar und modisch. You understood? For the first one, uh, they have said the erotic T-Shirt and hellgrinness hose. So first one is B and the second one is A. and third one is also a moving forward to the next it's farben mixing we marked man the farben okay how one can make the mixing the colors and how one can make the colors like mixing two colors what it will become green will become mixing the black and white schwarz und weiß and hell blau light green will become with blau und weiß blue and white dunkel blau is blau und schwarz rosa rot und weiß green blau und gelb orange rot und gelb turquoise blau und grün dunkel rot rot und schwarz brown rot gelb und blau violet rot und blau so after mixing these color the orange will become dunkel rot like this now next moving forward to the fourth one we find in sie schreiben sie fragen und antworten sie how do you find write the questions and answers on it okay art model chic modern langweilish elegant shion hyatrish und diese words given okay so according to the pictures you have to write how you find the clothes we find and see the hose out built day how would you find the thing in the picture d uh, how would you think of the pants in the picture b we find the ish chic i found it chic how do you like that we give fail the others likewise you have to make it wie gefällt dir das kleid auf bild a auf bild a ja wie gefällt dir das so you can write in the answer das finde ich elegant you can use these words next you can make we finden we findest du dieses jacket 
Diese Jacke auf Bild B. Das finde ich langweilig. Wie gefällt Ihnen der Anzug auf Bild, auf Bild E? Den finde ich modern. Wie finden Sie das Top auf Bild C? Das finde ich modern. Oder schön. You can say. So likewise you have to make it. Otherwise I told you by my side all the things. Next moving forward is the police that sucht diese Personen. Wie sehen sie aus? Beschreiben sie. So okay, police is finding the person. This person that is in front of you. It's in the picture. You have to explain how it looks. What he had wear. The police are looking for these people. How do you, how do they look? You have to describe them. So their man tricked uh, these, these things. The Frau tricked. So we have to explain this. Okay, we will be doing it together. Let's do for the men first. Their man tricked eine grüne Hose. Uh, er hat eine schwarze Jacke und einen roten Schal an. Er trägt braune Stiefel und eine Sonnenbrille. Next ist die Frau. Die Frau trägt ein langes rotes Kleid und einen blauen Mantel. Sie trägt auch eine Sonnenbrille. Auch einen Sonnenbrille. Sie hat, sie hat gelbe Haare. You can say. Sie hat gelbe Haare. Sie hat auch. Sie trägt auch. Eine Kletter. She has also wear a necklace and you can say sie ist sehr elegant. Sie sieht sehr elegant aus. That is the right word. She looks very elegant. Die Mode im Herbst. Fashion in the autumn. Schreiben Sie den Text und ergänzen Sie die Adjektive im Accusative. Write the text and you have to mark the adjectives in Accusative case. So die Herbstmode ist den Geschäften. Hier sehen Sie einen Modisch. Okay, you have to add the endings of adjectives according to the accusative case here and rewrite the paragraph. So you can write, die Herbstmode ist in der Geschäften. Hier sehen Sie einen Modischen Mann. Ending will be E in Modischen Mann. Er trägt eine graue Hose. Graue Ending ist E, graue Hose und ein braunes Jacket. Braunes E ist Ending. Und dazu ein blaues Hemd. Blaues ES, blaues Hemd, why? Because Hemd ist das Hemd. Frauen zeigen in diesem Herbst elegante Röcke, elegante Röcke und modische Hose. Unser Modell trägt einen langen Rock und kurze Stiefel. Langen E-Ending und kurze Stiefel. E-Ending, dazu hat sie einen leichten Pullover und Kaschmere an. I hope you have written it. Next is Kleidung kaufen. Ordnen Sie die Dialoge. You are buying the clothing stuff. You have to rewrite these uh, in a dialogue form. It's in the paragraph and you have to make a dialogue of it. So, okay. For the dialogue one, it's already written. Guten Tag, ich hätte gern einen Mantel. Grüße 42. This is, I guess, similar. We have done the previous dialogues. It's similar to that. So, in Grüße 42 habe ich hier diesen blauen. So here it is in Grioso. So in Fiesisch habe ich hier diesen blauen. Next, uh, it's related to blue. So we have to find the blue one. Mm -hmm. Okay, blau steht mir nicht. At the first, blau steht mir nicht. Haben Sie vielleicht einen in grün? Ja, diesen hier. Gefällt er Ihnen? Ja, kann ich ihn mal anprobieren? Die Umkleidung, die Umkleidekabine ist dort rechts. A changing room. Umkleidekabine ist changing room. Next, for the dialogues too, we have to start. Guten Tag. Sie wünschen bitte? Ich hätte gern ein paar Schuhe Winterschuhe. Welche Größe bitte? Größe 39. Möchten Sie diese hier anprobieren? Ja, danke. Die sind sehr bequem. Die nehme ich. So, I hope you have written the dialogues. Okay, moving forward to the next. This is a listening and the speaking exercise also, but still you can read it. For the text, Karoka, Karoka, here is the expression, see the roller in dialogue. Dialogue. So you have to listen to it and repeat after them. Ich suche eine Hose. Grüße 40. Haben Sie eine schwarze Hose fürs Büros? Kann ich die in blau mal anprobieren? Hm, die gefällt mir gut. Sie ist auch sehr bequem. Steht sie mir? Gut, dann nehme ich sie. Dialoge im Kaufhaus. Ergänzen Sie welch, dies und der, das, die. Okay, you have to fill the blank according to which thing will go like which or this or article so for the first one according to the picture they are questioning it's welche stiefel sind größer act und reizig these are here for the second one welches kleid gefällt ihnen dieses oder dieses hier gefällt 
gefällt Ihnen dieser Pullover? Nein, der gefällt mir nicht, aber dieser hier ist sehr schön. Nächstes, welche Hose möchten Sie anprobieren? Dieser da bitte. I hope you have written the answers. Next is, welche Kleidung passt zum Sommer und welche passt zum Winter? Which clothes will fit for summer and which for winters? You have to just match it. So for the winter it's written, the Mjudza. And next we will be doing first for the winter only, the Mjudza. And the Handschuhe. And the Rollkragen Pullover. The Stiefel. Der Schal, der Mantel. For the summer, one can wear das Sommerkleid, das Top, das T-Shirt, and uh, die kurze Hose, das leichte Hemd. Ja. Yeah. Okay, moving forward to the next. Wetter, wie Hotel, was gehört zu Sommer, verbinden Sie? Weather related words, which belongs to which, you just have to match it, combine it. Es schneit. Schneid means snowing. So this is for the Schnee. Es regnet. So the, this is for the Regen. Next is es ist windisch. So it's their wind. Es ist bewolkt. Die Wolken. Es ist sonnig. Die Sonne. Next is lesen Sie den Text. Verbinden Sie die Sätze. Read the text and then match the sentences with each other. So I always prefer you to just pause the video and read the text. We will be reading it together. You can just pause the video and read it first and then you can correct the pronunciation with me. Now, kein Schnee in den Alpen. Statt Ski fahren, Sonnenbaden. So they are saying no snow in the Alps. Instead of skiing, sunbathing. Kitzbühler, 23. Dezember 2003. Pit. Die Ski fahren 17 vor dem Restaurant auf dem Berg und trinken Bier oder Limonade. Wohin man auch sieht, kein Schnee. Kein Eis, nur grünes Gras. Der Winter in diesem Jahr fehlt aus. Stattdessen Sonne pur. Die Skifahrer tragen keinen Anurak und keine Handschuhe, sondern Tischen und leichten Hosen. Familie Weiermann kommt jedes Jahr in die Alpen. So etwas haben wir noch nie erlebt. Letztes Jahr war der Schnee hier einen Meter hoch. Die Kinder sind sehr traurig. Traurig ist sad. Wir haben möchten Skifahren und einen Schneemann bauen. Der Skilehrer Seppel Huber meint, in diesem Winter bin ich arbeitslos. Es ist schrecklich. Wir alle warten auf den Schnee. So they were saying, Kids Bueller, that is 23rd December 2003, at bed, the skiers sit in front of the restaurant on the mountain and drink beer or lemonade. Whenever you look, no snow, no ice, just green grass. Winter is cancelled this year. Instead some pure, the skiers don't wear, the skiers don't wear an anorak or gloves, but t-shirt and light pants. Family Weiermann comes to the Alps every year. We have never experienced anything like this. Last year, the snow was a meter deep here. The children are very sad. We want to go skiing and build a snowman. Ski instructor Slap Huber says, I'll be unemployed this winter. It's terrible. We are all waiting for the snow. Now we will be just doing this. So, the ski far, it's distant in the zone. So, the skiers are sitting in the sun. Es gibt keinen Ski. There is no snow at this year. Die Skifahrer tragen T-Shirt und leichte Hosen. Because there is no snow, then there is no as such winters there. Es ist warm. It's, it's quite warm. The ski lehrer ist arbeitslos. The ski teacher is uh, unemployed this year. Okay. Das kann ich auf Deutsch. This I can say in German. Sagen und was jemand trägt. After learning this 11th chapter, you can talk about these things, what one can wear and uh, ask the questions and answer what suits you or not. You can buy about the, about the clothes and the colors. Uh, you can buy your clothes by your own by using these dialogues. Next is nach dem Wetter You can ask about the weather. Weather information. You can understand about the weather information. Words you have learned here is about colors, clothes and the weather. Grammatic, you have learned the adjective endings in accusative case and unbestimmter article, you have learned demonstratives like these are, these are, which means this, Aussprache, and laut und lesen und lernen. You can read it aloud and learn it. Dein neues Kleid steht dir super. Wie gefällt Ihnen die blaue Jeans? Ich hätte lieber eine schwarze. Möchten Sie den Rock anprobieren? Ja, haben Sie den in meiner Größe. Wie ist das Wetter bei euch in Wien? Hier regnet es. So, I hope you have understood this chapter. Thank you so much for watching German Pro. Happy learning at home. Bye-bye. Take care.